Good day everyone. Today we're going on a journey that's not found in any school syllabus. We're about to explore the Kardashev scale, a fascinating method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement. It's based on the amount of energy a society can harness, and it offers a unique perspective on our place in the cosmos. So buckle up, because we're about to delve into the limitless possibilities of energy and civilization. Have you ever wondered how advanced our civilization really is? Well, there's a scale for that, and it's called the Kardashev scale. Named after the astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev, this fascinating concept was first proposed in the mid-20th century. It was a time when humanity was just beginning to realize the vast potential of energy, and Kardashev was one of the visionaries who dared to dream of a future where our species could harness energy on an astronomical scale. The Kardashev scale is not just another scientific measurement. It's a mirror that reflects our civilization's progress. It measures a civilization's advancement by the amount of energy at its disposal and categorizes civilizations into distinct types based on their energy usage. The more energy a civilization can control and use, the higher it ranks on the Kardashev scale. But why energy, you ask? Consider this. Every achievement of humanity, from the simplest task of lighting a fire to the complex operations of launching a spacecraft, requires energy. Energy is the lifeblood of civilization. The more energy we have and can effectively use, the more advanced we are. Hence, the Kardashev scale uses energy as the yardstick to measure the advancement of civilizations. We must remember, though, that the Kardashev scale is more of a guideline than a rigid framework. It doesn't predict the exact path of a civilization's progress. Instead, it provides a way to conceptualize the potential heights a civilization can reach and the energy requirements needed to get there. With that said, the Kardashev scale is not just about us, humans. It's a universal scale, applicable to any civilization in the cosmos. It allows us to imagine the technological prowess of alien civilizations, should we ever cross paths with them. So, imagine a civilization that harnesses the energy of an entire planet, or a star, or even a galaxy. It sounds like the stuff of science fiction, doesn't it? But with the Kardashev scale, we have a way to ponder these possibilities scientifically. Now that we know what the Kardashev scale is, let's dive into its stages. Imagine being able to harness the entire energy of our planet. Picture a civilization that has mastered the ability to tap into every joule of energy Earth receives from the sun, every volcanic eruption, every gust of wind, and every drop of rain. This is the first level of the Kardashev scale, a planetary civilization. The Kardashev scale, named after the Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev, is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy they are able to utilize. The initial step in this scale is a type 1, or planetary civilization. A civilization at this stage is truly a master of its world. It can control the weather, prevent natural disasters, and even harness the power of the planet itself. Think about it, earthquakes seen not as destructive forces, but as energy sources, or hurricanes transformed from devastating storms to massive power generators. But it's not just about domination, it's also about harmony. A Type 1 civilization would be in perfect balance with its home planet, using renewable resources to their fullest potential. Imagine solar cells so efficient, they capture every photon of sunlight or wind turbines that spin with every breeze, no matter how gentle. The theoretical energy output of a planetary civilization is immense. If we were to harness all the energy Earth receives from the Sun, we're looking at about 174 petawatts per year. That's a one followed by 15 zeros. It's an almost unimaginable amount of power. But how can we reach this stage? Well, it's a challenge to say the least. As of now, humanity is not yet a type one civilization. We're closer to a type zero, but with advancements in technology and shifts in mindset, we're slowly but surely making our way up the Kardashev scale. But that's just the beginning. Let's take a leap to the next stage. What if we could harness the energy of an entire star? A question that might sound like pure science fiction, but within the framework of the Kardashev scale, it's the next logical step. Welcome to the second stage of the Kardashev scale, the stellar civilization. 
At this stage, a civilization has developed the capability to utilize all the energy from its parent star directly. Imagine the magnitude of that for a moment. That's every ray of light, every burst of heat and radiation, all harnessed and put to use. Unfathomable, isn't it? Yet it's the mark of a true, stellar civilization. Now you might be wondering, how could this be possible? How could a civilization tap into such an astronomical amount of energy? One hypothetical technology that might make this feasible is something known as a Dyson Sphere. Named after the physicist Freeman Dyson, it's essentially a megastructure that encompasses a star, capturing a significant percentage, if not all, of its energy output. Building a Dyson Sphere would be a monumental task, requiring resources on a scale that's hard to comprehend. We're talking about dismantling planets, possibly even entire solar systems, to gather the necessary materials. It's not just about the physical resources, though. The technological and logistical prowess required to construct such a structure is beyond anything we currently possess. But the rewards would be staggering. A civilization that's managed to build a Dyson Sphere would have energy at its disposal on an unprecedented scale. It could power technologies and systems we can't even dream of. It could reach new heights of development and prosperity, expanding its influence far beyond its home star. Incredible, isn't it? But the scale doesn't stop here. As we move forward, we'll explore what lies beyond the stellar civilization, venturing into the realm of galaxies. For now, let's marvel at the sheer audacity and potential of a civilization that's harnessed the power of an entire star. Now, let's think bigger, much bigger. How about an entire galaxy? If you thought harnessing the energy of a single star was impressive, Imagine the possibilities when you have an entire galaxy at your disposal. This is the third stage of the Kardashev scale, the galactic civilization. At this point, a civilization has advanced to such a degree that it can tap into the energy of its whole galaxy. This is a feat that's mind-boggling even to contemplate. A civilization of this magnitude would have the ability to manipulate the energy of billions of stars, harnessing their power to fuel their activities. It's like having an almost infinite power source, enough to sustain a civilization for billions of years. The possibilities are endless, the technology is beyond our current understanding, but the concept is fascinating, isn't it? Think about it. A civilization that could harness the energy of an entire galaxy would be able to perform feats we can only dream of. They could potentially create and destroy stars at will, move entire planets, perhaps even control the very fabric of space and time. But how could a civilization achieve this? The answer is through technologies and techniques that are far beyond our current understanding. We're talking about things like Dyson spheres around every star, black hole power plants, and who knows what else. The technology would have to be so advanced, it would seem like magic to us. And what would a civilization do with all this power? Well, that's the million-dollar question. Perhaps they'd explore other galaxies, or maybe they'd create virtual reality so advanced that their inhabitants wouldn't even realize they're in a simulation. The possibilities are as endless as the stars in the galaxy. You might think this is the pinnacle of energy consumption, but there's more. While the galactic civilization represents an incredible level of advancement, the Kardashev scale doesn't stop there but we'll delve into that in the next part of our journey. So, keep your seatbelts fastened, we're not done yet. What lies beyond harnessing the energy of a galaxy? Well, my friends, let's delve into the fascinating realm of possibilities that extend beyond the third stage of the Kardashev scale. These are purely speculative, mind you, and not part of Kardashev's original scale. But isn't it rather thrilling to ponder upon what could be? Imagine, if you will, the fourth stage of civilization. This hypothetical civilization would be able to harness the energy of not just one galaxy, but multiple galaxies. They would have developed the technology to travel across galaxies, to tap into the energy of distant stars and to manipulate cosmic phenomena at a scale that is currently beyond our comprehension. This might sound like the stuff of science fiction, but remember, so did many of the technologies we use today before they were invented. Such a civilization would likely have transcended many of the limitations that bind us now. They would have found ways to counteract the expansion of the universe, to travel faster than the speed of light, 
and to manipulate the very fabric of space-time itself. And then, there's the fifth stage. At this point, we're talking about a civilization that can harness the energy of the entire universe. This is a civilization that has mastered the laws of physics to such an extent that they can manipulate the universe at will. They might have found a way to tap into dark energy, the mysterious force that is driving the expansion of the universe. Now let's push our imaginations even further and contemplate a six-stage civilization. This civilization would have transcended the constraints of our known universe. They might have found a way to harness energy from other universes, perhaps even from the multiverse itself. They could potentially manipulate the laws of physics in ways we can't even begin to comprehend. But let's not get too carried away. These are, after all, speculative stages that are not part of Kardashev's original scale. They're fascinating to think about, but they also highlight just how far we have to go as a civilization. We're still a long way off from even reaching the first stage, let alone the hypothetical ones we've just discussed. To give you a bit of perspective, our current civilization would rank somewhere around 0.7 on the Kardashev scale. We still have a long way to go before we reach the first stage, which involves harnessing all the energy available on our planet. But who knows what the future holds? Perhaps one day, we'll reach these lofty heights. And when we do, the universe might just become our playground. So that's the Kardashev scale for you. A gauge of civilizations based on energy. Let's go over what we've learned today. The Kardashev scale, a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy it can use, is a fascinating concept. It was proposed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in the mid-20th century, and it offers a lens through which we can ponder our place in the universe and imagine the possibilities of future technological advancement. The scale has three primary stages, with each leap forward representing a monumental progression in energy harnessing capabilities. Type 1, the planetary civilization, can use and store all the energy available on its home planet. This includes harnessing the power of natural disasters, tectonic activity, and weather systems. As a civilization, we're not quite there yet, but we're on the cusp, making strides towards this milestone. The next jump, Type 2, the stellar civilization, can harness the total energy of its parent star. Imagine being able to control and utilize the full power of the sun. This would involve structures like a Dyson sphere, a hypothetical megastructure that would encompass a star and capture a large percentage of its power output. Then, we have Type 3, the galactic civilization, capable of harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy. This is an almost unimaginable level of power and control, far beyond our current comprehension. Beyond these, there are hypothetical stages, like Type 4 and 5 civilizations, which could harness the energy of the entire universe or even multiple universes. These are purely theoretical at this point, but they provide food for thought about the potential heights of advancement. The Kardashev scale, while theoretical, helps us to understand that the possibilities for our technological advancement are far from exhausted. It allows us to dream of a future where we might overcome current limitations and achieve feats currently confined to the realm of science fiction. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? But that's the beauty of exploring the unknown. And with that, our journey through the Kardashev scale comes to an end. Thank you for sharing your time and curiosity with us. We encourage you to share your thoughts, questions, and insights on this compelling topic. Perhaps there's another cosmic conundrum you'd like us to tackle? Your suggestions lead our exploration into the mysteries of the universe. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and have a pleasant day ahead.